Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Against the Storm. Last episode ended uh, kind of uh, <laughs> kind of suddenly, got a phone call. I very rarely get phone calls at all, but when there is one that comes in, it's like, uh, something I have to deal with now, I can't just sit and play video games. But hey, we're back over here. We are in uh, the start of year three, our first drizzle. We've popped one Dangerous Glade. We're going to open a second one over here. And fingers crossed that it's not too bad. And we may stop at that. Well, I know we've got the risky expeditions. That might just be more of a late game thing. So I think I'm going to take this booming economy right now. It does give us more money. Also does give us more oil, which actually does remind. We're going to go through here. Um, I don't know everything that consumes oil. Oh, that's the one I already clicked on, isn't it? There we go. Uh, we'll just turn, I'll just turn off this job actually. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll leave this on, but just turn off the trade goods job. Hopefully those are the only two things that consume oil currently. I don't know that we have enough oil to complete this mission. Can I buy some more? I can't remember how much we need. I feel like we might want 24. So before this trader leaves, I'm gonna go and put in an order. Wow, oil's a lot cheaper than I thought it was. Okay, so we'll throw in one amber. And then um, have some plant fiber. There you go. 24 oil in the bank in case we get an alert that needs it. We might pop this before they uh, show up. Um, newcomers, let me wait on you. Yeah, okay. We're, we're going to want more people because we're going to need some to work the uh, the problem anyway. Boots getting real low. I'm wondering about this. It's nice to get the leather. Let me just get a little bit of food injection for now. We really need... Um, oh, we have a little bit of blueprints available. I'm going to just wait until we pop this and then we'll make a bunch of decisions on the blueprints. Be nice to have gotten it earlier in the drizzle, but it was a long way to cut through here. Oh, they're returning some goods. So we got a few idlers. Is there anything to work on over here? Yeah, I guess you can you can make bricks. Don't need one in the makeshift post. Uh -huh. Just throw a second one in there. That's fine. All right, that's good. Okay, what do we have here? We do have a little bit of fertile soil. Okay. We got the sea marrow deposit as well. Large destroyed caravan. So while we run this, we get a minus eight which is not ideal. The harpies will go negative if we do that. But... I really don't want this to complete. So we probably have to start this immediately. I think I'm gonna do the Santa Citadel as well for the money and the rep. Okay, how are we gonna deal with the harpies? Well, let's see if we can get them uh, some jerky or skewers. Ideally, jerky for the humans, because skewers would only be the harpies. Do I want to re-roll? Well, we know we can use a farm, because there's fertile soil over here. Do I pick up the plantation? Or do I get a ranch so we can get a, um, a constant supply of meat? The thing is, we've got these large packs of food here that we are exploiting. There's some more eggs. A little more eggs over there. Yeah, but most, but for meat, it's just this. I don't think I need the ranch. Should I reroll? I don't. I think the plantation's a fine pick. Uh, although, maybe I do want to reroll like immediately, just to give us maximum chances to find a jerky producer. But I know I'm going to want some sort of farming thing as well. Plantation done. Okay. Kiln gives us jerky. It's only one star. So does the cellar. But of these, the kiln would be more useful because the coal production is really nice. We already have flour production. Yeah, I'm going to grab the kiln. So now we don't need jerky production, which means it'll give me a three star jerky. It actually didn't. Wow. I don't think... Okay, we already generate flour. So actually the bakery is gonna be very nice for us. Um, biscuits are popular with both humans and beavers. Looks like no one wants pies. I think pies might just be an exclusively lizard thing. Unless something's hidden with the beaver here. 
Um, and pottery is going to be potentially useful for things down the road. I think we take the, the bakery with the expectation that I think we can start producing biscuits immediately. I guess I could have clicked the magnifying glass to confirm, but. Uh, we don't have anything that makes bricks, right? Oh no, the kiln will make bricks as well. Okay, I can get rid of the crude workstation completely. There we go. Um, let me just move you out of the way for a second. That was free, right? Yeah, okay. both about as close to the door. Okay. Yeah, leave this off, that's fine. Oh, you know what I need to do to get these moods up? I need more houses, and especially like race-specific housing, which I should have exclusively. Also, we should get the next level upgrade of the uh, hearth, which that's actually unacceptable how late that is. And drop three of those. Then when they get built, I'm just going to tear down those shelters and then uh, build a human house. Okay, so this disaster, yeah, let's start working on it right away. Send to the Citadel, go. So harpies are going to go down, but let's make sure this harpy house here, max priority, because that should fix you once you've got some housing. And I got a cooperage over here, which makes barrels, weapons, and cosmetics. Do I just salvage you? We've got a building that makes pottery, which we need some sort of container to hold booze if we make that, but I don't think we need barrels specifically for anything. I think like wineskins and pottery will work as a, as an option there. Yeah, harpies, we really need this harpy house to be, do we not have? No, we've got tons of fabric. I guess, I think they'd already started this construction job is what happened. Uh, let me go and drop a couple of people so we have some extra builders. I can go and temporarily throw this on. It's a 60 second cooldown to enable it, but you can disable it immediately. Yeah, I'm gonna have to stop this harpy from running away. Like that. New orders, yeah, I'll pick them now, sure. Uh, I have a bathhouse and cosmetics. 20 minutes to solve three of these events. I don't think we can do here, which is unfortunate. I don't, we're not really building wine. I think I'm just not, well, I'm not gonna accept either one of these right now. Oop, what, oh, uh, yeah. We'll lose the ethereal pick. That's the timed one, so it's no longer an option. Harpy house is up, which should put your resolve above five. Good, which means I can cancel this and not have the beavers run away. All right. Oh. oh no, it's not human. See, I really like the lizard folk. Let me put you in a place just to clear some real estate over where we're gonna wanna build here. I'm not looking to open up anything else right now. Okay, we do need to get our food multipliers happening. And just fire some random people here. Okay, it's leaving me one constructor right now. Oh, we actually don't have enough flour? What are, were we consuming flour for anything else? Maybe we just, no, we definitely did consume flour for something. What did we, what did we use our flour for? Nothing here, nothing here. It's not a trade good. Am I imagining things that I never actually make any flour? I thought we got, we picked up a little bit of grain. It could do a flour job at some point, but I guess we did not. Oh, oh no. I think the flour is just being, it's being carried over and delivered. We did make a little bit, which I was pretty sure about. Oh shit, turn off pies. Cause again, squint mode engage. Oh, I can actually check here. Look at pies. 
Oh, humans do actually like pies. Yeah, right over there. And they do have some. But the biscuits are better because it's going to cover all three species like biscuits. Do all bis species always like biscuits? Maybe that's the case. But yeah, I don't want to use any flour for pies. I just want to do biscuits. And yeah, you can have all your sources of stuff coming in. Biscuit it up. Make our people happy. Let's see what we can do to actually get this going again. Okay, one worker, which is fine. House is nearly done. Uh, can I move these houses for free? No. This is how I can move them out of the way and rebuild them. This uh, beaver house it is. And then... Get that. Yeah, and I gotta get my parks and stuff going on. Actually, I should clear some space around here. Specifically... These guys here, please. Thank you. Same thing with you. I'm going to move you back over this way. And then done. Okay. When the human house comes up, I'll trash those, put some parks in place, and probably have to queue up one more housing as well. Oh yeah, we're still rocking this minus eight. That's part of when the reasons the mood is so low, but that's finishing a now. Um, doing this probably will raise the impatience. Oh, no, we already got the rep, though. Never mind. Um. See, we are confused. Where do we get the copper from? Are all the trees the same if we mess over them? I think they are, right? Because it's just, it's just this. I don't know how we got the copper dust. Maybe we just started with some. But yeah, I'm gonna assume the smelter with the copper bars isn't useful. We can we can technically make pipes from the um the, the simple workstation or whatever it's called. This would open up crystallized dew. Now crystallized dew needs you know, I mean it needs some water, but we are gonna set up some water stuff. We could consider this as a metal making. Skewers. Skewers can be eaten by, I think, just the harpies. We already have biscuits, and I don't think we have a need for pigments right now. Is this a reroll? It might be. But the thing is, we can't really support another building right now anyway. We don't have enough people for it, so maybe I'll just sit on the blueprint and then be ready to adapt. Oh, actually, okay, do clear some of this still. But then I'm going to move you over here and clear some more room around the uh, the farm area. Food is definitely going down quite quickly. It's a good thing we, we've got um, some of our food multipliers. Uh, I'm willing to take people out of buildings and make them happy, but I think I do have to get the trapper's camp going. Well, you're nearly done. You're you're just clearing the uh, gold out of here. That'll free up a couple more people for us. Oh, it's storm period. And people are actually still okay. Oh, no, now they're not. Never mind, I lied. Boom, boom, boom. Ooh, can I even get to one here? Oh, right, I forgot, we've got the modifier where woodcutters camps don't really give us um, as much uh, as much uh, hostility. So no, what we're gonna have to do is sacrifice, I don't have the sacrifice mollus, which was over here. There you go, that gets us there. And I'm betting I can go and fit can I fit a second one in? I can fit a second one in and still be at hostility one. Okay. And that frees up some people, which means we can get the trapper's camp or more food coming in a little bit faster. Might be a fine time to tear apart the cooperage, actually. Or I can just have the idlers perform more building for us. Okay, let me trash both these houses which is going to lead to two homeless beavers. Oh, and two homeless harpies. There we go. And then we're going to want two parks and a garden. Boom. That will get us to level two ancient hearth. I should have gone to level one right away for the plus two global resolve. And then level two is the 10% faster work rate. Humans are actually really happy right now. 
I mean, they have full houses, so that's going to help. There we go. Resolve goes up a little bit more there. Actually, almost have enough I could dip down another level. I'll wait until the storm gets closer. The being over. So I'm not opening this glade. Yeah, I don't think we're going to open any small glades this run at all if I can help it. Harvester camp has no nearby, I think. Oh, but we do have some more over here, so we'll keep you running. Away. What's the next cornerstone? Need for advocation. Free amber for wood. Oh, protected trade is really nice if we can get trade started. Or free blueprint. No, we're going to go protected trade. Which does remind me how... Well, we're not producing packs of provision right now. I don't remember, did we unlock a building that can do it? Just the makeshift post. Okay. Since we've got this, we clearly want to go into a trade kind of thing. So we might preferentially grab buildings that do something like that. So I might re-roll this one. There's our free reroll. Uh, luxury goods, I mean, they just sell for some, and we do have the ability to maybe put down some simple tools. We do have, um, we do have a cloth industry. We've got the weaver. We've got decent raw materials. Two of our species want coats. Harpies don't. But the artisan may be the way to go. Pickled goods are nice for the beavers. It's because there's huge wine production, but I mean, we were at the artisan. And you going down there? Okay, we're getting resolved there. If I turn that off, no. Okay, so we'll just keep that going. Yeah, clear this area first, then we're going to move you up over here. Oh, there! The humans got resolve, even though... Even though the focus is on the harpies. Oh, actually, no! Sorry, there's no focus any, at all. My bad. No focus. But we're getting double the bonus resolve. 0.13 per minute. Not a huge amount, but it's not bad. One unemployed for some construction. Oh, shoot! Shoot, 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 shoot! Turn off the wood burning here, which I was going to say might break the resolve because the hostility has gone up. I still think we need to cancel this out, though. Move you over here. Okay. So no one's working in the artisan. Coats. I'm just checking that there's only one of everything that works here. Uh, specialization bonus is the Harpy. See that? Keeps one builder human around. And a trader is here. First of all, yeah, I still can't do trade route stuff. You do have blueprints. Herbalist camp, which is nice. Forger's camp. I mean, it's never bad to have these larger camps. Um, I don't know that we have any resources. Oh, we could use a forager camp, actually. Hi. I don't think there's anything we can we need to buy. Um, the storage capacity perk's not bad. It's not huge, but it's it's not bad. All right, I'll get the forager's camp. Just because we don't have anything that can use the herbalist camp right now doesn't mean we wouldn't want it for the future, but we might get another chance to get it. It feels stupid to get it blind. Um, I think I will go at the orderly storage. Helps with our efficiency a little bit. Yeah, I'll just wait. Okay. Yeah, I'm just trying to clear a little bit of uh, woods around the farm here. Oh, there we go. I can get the Harpies Resolve bonus going again, so I will do that. We are just about to get another blueprint unlocked.
housing's fine. And you're level two. I guess I'll just, uh, just throw you down in one of these right now. Because why not? Unless I wanted more stuff in these buildings. Oh, bakery, you're not doing anything currently. So you're not set to make pies. You don't have any of this. Uh, we're at the pottery limit. Okay, I'll just take you out of there completely. And let me throw you into the kiln. Is it still active? Basically, like, we'll always be making coal here. This, we, if, if, we're, if we got the burning fort turned off, it doesn't seem to ever accumulate. And you're still making bricks. Unfortunately, no jerky currently. Let's just make sure. Now, they do preferentially eat the cooked food. I'm going to go. I'm going to turn off all the raw food production right now just to make sure. Stonecutter's camp is empty here, but how come I'm not seeing the arrows? Oh, there it is. Couldn't see because I knew there was something over here. I just couldn't see it in the UI. We are going to move you over here to get the marrow. Save that was awkward there. Okay, I'm gonna move you here. And we're gonna get plantation set up here. Now, with the farming, some people say rather than stress about having your farm pointing towards your fields, make sure it's pointing towards a um a warehouse. But in this case, I think it's all gonna be pretty good. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up a warehouse right over here. So the farm goodies can be delivered immediately with minimal walking. Do we keep the cooperage here? I was talking about tearing it down. No, I think we're still going to tear it down. The only thing it makes that we can't do right now is cosmetics, and I don't think that's particularly critical. So yeah, we'll plan on salvaging it probably during the next storm season. I know there's no builders available, but again, I think I'll probably just let it wait until the storm season comes. And when I still am going to be tossing some of my um, some of my wood cutters. Even though they don't give much hostility, we'll have them work on that stuff. Um, more people, do we? I mean, we are building more buildings. How many humans do I have? Two, and I'm about to set up a farm, which will use up two humans. Humans aren't used for anything else right now, though. If anything, I could probably use more harpies. And they are pretty happy. Should give us more. I think I'll take this option here. And I will take that now. Yeah, I could have waited until after the storm because more people does give more hostility as well. But let's throw those in there, which actually will help your overall happiness because more harpies are working in jobs they like. I'm assuming this is still idle. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you're in coffee break, but yeah, we would have gotten the explanation mark of nothing. I guess uh, let's go and I'm going to tear down the cooperage now. Okay, I mean, we again, we're still going to do two dangerous glades to finish this and hopefully get ancient tablets. Uh, not really want to go forbidden. So maybe that one. This one over here, because we're going to probably build a second town center. We'll probably get a second hearth as well, which does help with uh, hostility reduction. Although it does also consume more fee uh, fuel, but I suppose that's what the kiln is for. Mm. Yeah, all right. Oh, right. This decision. Uh... Oh, there we go. Packs of provisions. Or our trade routes. I mean, we can make them, but they're kind of crappy right now. No flour. I could go cellar and make some wine. Who wants wine? It's um the luxuries, right? I think that has to be from ale. I think wine... Counts as a luxury for those buildings, which only the beavers want. I mean, we could sell the wine. I don't have the beavers gain resolve for wine production, huh? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ch -ch -ch -ch. 
I might build this just for the efficient provision packs. Because we do want to start doing some trading. I'm not convinced it was necessarily the most brilliant move, but it's going to be a move, so we're going to do it. We'll plop that down there. Alright, we'll grab bathing. Maybe that's something we'll end up doing at some point. Um, we, we can't open caches, unfortunately. I'll probably grab rations for the Citadel. I think we're moving towards this. And then pack production. Uh, more freaking lug free if we'd gone down the wine route. Standing two with three settlements. That's a lot of ask. I am kind of eager to do a bunch of trading. Although we've we kind of got a delayed start with it. At least this is resolve at 75 times. You got to watch for some of these. Some of these are have X number of people with this need fulfilled. And if you don't have the population for it, you won't get there. We'll go good friends and I'll, I'll try to lead into the trading here, especially once this gets built up and no construction happening right now. That's OK. No one in the bakery either, which is still fine too. All right, storm time. We need to uh, we need to lower the hostility. Oh, I can get the two like this, which keeps my people stable um, and avoids anything particularly weird and wonky. As I said, that's a lot of construct. I could probably take some people off of constructing. We'll throw you in for harvesting over here. Well, mostly it's okay. Now, we are going to need packs of crops, which currently the only place I can do it is here. So I'm going to go and enable the crops. We'll put a limit locally here if we even have the resources to make them, which actually we don't. So I don't have to put anyone in here right now, as it turns out. Okay. All right. We'll just leave a lot of people on construction. Oh. I guess I hadn't uh, let this update. Ah, oh, so close. Oh, you're still going to get cranky. Although I could drop the treatment here. Okay, let's do this. We're going to run out of coal pretty quickly, but... We'll just up the, the wood consumption or something afterwards. RP resolve low. Yeah, that's fine. Let's do this and get another human in here for the plantation to be working. Oh, we're missing a, a harpy house. Oh, actually, we need one more house for each type of person. There we go. I think we just ran out of coal here. Let's pick this up. Um, harpy house. Yeah, we've got the fabric. We've got enough constructors that as soon as uh, people reevaluate their job, someone should go and build a harpy house immediately. There you go. Warehouse is in place. By the way, you can uh, rotate a, these buildings, most of these buildings, after they've been placed. There you go. Apparently, I can't rotate the warehouse, but maybe it doesn't have a front door the same way. Oh, you're actually plus one already. I wonder where that is. I'll take it, though. Yeah, I think I will plan for a hearth to be over here. They just can't overlap. Makes that placement a little awkward feeling, but I guess it's fine. Tell you what, no, I totally meant to do that and have a road over there. Um, that way, anyone who works in this area can just go here to rest and they will be able to access some of their goodies and things. So it's OK. All right. What do you got for me? Bakery production 50 percent faster. I mean, we do have a bakery, but. Let's go trade logs again. We're going to lean into the idea that we are going to be doing trade at some point, theoretically, maybe. Um... Oh, I guess you're at your fabric limit. OK. Do what? Let's go ahead and just toss you from here. Do we have any other harpies working a random job? No, we don't. Okay. We'll throw you in here. We don't need pigments right now. I'm going to leave this off. Yeah, Pax Provision, make it out of anything you can. It's going to have to be okay. 
And yeah, do get started on that, because first of all, we need 15 for a quest. And secondly, we're going to want it to uh, empower our trade routes. So I'm happy that it's going. I'm happy we finally have a farm going on, because our food situation is not great, and especially if we keep bringing people in. Yeah, at some point, we are going to have to open more glades just to get access to more food. I could go and put down a second forger's camp. Actually, we don't have a forger's camp. So let me do that. Hell, you're close to a warehouse and everything. The positions going to be okay. Oh, the storm is over, so I guess I'm going to put my woodcutters back in here. And let me move you... I'm going to move you over here. You're not too far from a warehouse, and I, we are going to have to go and pop these. I'm trying to hold off as long as possible just to control aggression or hostility, you should say. I guess with you, you're going to get moved over here. I'm just going to hold control and get a path carving out in this direction. We're not going to pop it out uh, this one. It'll probably be after the next storm, I suspect. And then just like that, we don't have any constructors anymore. Um, I don't need this much stone cutting. There we go. Oh, you don't have material. What are you lacking? We don't have any, don't have any wood, which... Oh! Yeah, we had been burning extra wood there. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's brutal. Oh, uh, I need someone over here. Now, uh, there are no bonuses, I think, for working this site. Uh, other than if you have a lizard, then, of course, they get happy. But the small hearth don't get um, species-specific bonuses. Forger's Camp does get a human perk. Where I feel like I could drop something. Probably not. Oh, harvesters over here's got nothing. Uh, and I'm not seeing a little I'm not seeing a little icon. I don't think there's anything else for this forger's camp or the harvester's camp to get. So I'm just gonna go and tear this down. Because apparently we could use a little bit of wood in our pocket. Sorry, what you got for me, buddy? Herb got it. Well, we only have one farmable spot and we're already doing it. Um obsidian shovel might not be terrible. know if we need it though I might not just I might just not trade anything with Zorg hello mm, pottery yeah no all right this is uh this is not feeling great I mean patience is fine still uh yeah let's go and focus on the harpies the resolve bonus up, please. That's going a little bit. Yeah, we'll definitely be ready to pop two dangerous glades pretty quick. In fact, I might just pop them both back to back. And get the I don't know. That is really going to do a lot for hostility with more glades. We need to get the uh, the trading going on. Oh, also the rain stuff. Okay, your storm, perfect. Let's go and get a geyser pump over here for the storm. And yeah, kiln. I know we don't have the water yet, but it's fine. We're gonna go and spend everything on the left-hand side over here. When it's running, I want maximum coal as quickly as possible. Yeah. I'm worried about our food situation, but we do kinda need more people. I might hold off until after the storm, because the people themselves will increase hostility as well. Yeah, I'll wait until after the storm, and then we'll want the people maybe to run more of this stuff. Let's see, uh, there's no construction currently, so I'll go and throw you in here. You can start getting storm water. All right, let me turn that off so that the cooldown starts ticking, so we'll have flexibility for the storm. Uh, 
Uh, I don't think the rainwater gets uh, carried anywhere. It just gets pumped automatically, so we don't have to worry about a warehouse over here. I do have 13 tools. Is that actually enough to pop one of these? Yeah, 14. Okay. If there was a small cache, I think we'd have enough. I don't know if there is a small cache. There may have been, but I don't see it at a glance. RPs. Yeah, we ran out of jerky there. But there we go. That will help the kiln as well, because the kiln is responsible for making the jerky. All right, resolve low. First, even though they don't give us a whole lot of threat, I mean, look at turning that off. That brings it down to a two, which is still bad for resolve. Do I have enough wood to actually run? There you go. We've got the coal as well. Um, yeah, all right, I'll take this. I'm going to go for trade and luxury because we could use the tools to maybe help us win the game. Oh, I have tons of provisions. That happened quick. Uh, we have a quest. Oh, yeah, for standing level. So we're going to want to start doing tiny little trades here. So at um, relationship one, it's not super profitable, it feels like. So what I've been doing is just doing the level one trade routes while they're low level. But we'll do a bunch of these. The food is a little tight. I'm wondering about something else first, but. Oh, I can't trade away an ancient tablet. I need those. So I guess I will go and trade those. And at least, you know, if you focus on on one like this, and you know, do two trade routes here. Um, actually, I should do four at a time. Should I go and unlock a new one immediately? No, I'll save in case maybe I'll get a lucky blueprint from trade. Um, so yeah, we've got two going to Elam. So it takes two trade routes, and it doesn't matter the multiplier as far as I can tell. It just takes two successfully completed trade routes to get to level one relationship. And then I think it takes four to get to level two. Um, if I'm going to pop one of these, I think the one we're going to start with is over here, because at least it is closer to a warehouse and a hearth. So it's a little bit more practical, I guess. So we'll just get ready for this. Mm -hmm. And they do different things during different seasons. So I think during storms is when they plow, which increases our um, our output later on, which is nice. I could get this focus exclusively on food crops, but we do want some plant fiber to keep our clothing industry going. Everyone's got a house yet, yeah, at least until I like, accept some more people. But it'll be okay. Um crop situation. Yeah, this packs of crops is going to be really, really, really rough. Okay. <gasps> right. Baptism of fire. So we have uh, some blight rot, which means we can no longer sacrifice over here. But let's get ready for that with a blight post. It's not so high that it's a problem for us, other than the fact that we can't sacrifice anymore. Now, that does also... There we go. We can go here. And the storm's nearly over, so we're going to be fine. In fact, I'm going to go... Uh, what do we get at level 3? Yeah, sacrifice costs us more, which is okay. So yeah, the resolve problem's going to be fixed in like 2 seconds, as soon as the storm ends. I got no builders anymore, but I guess that's going to have to be okay. Oh, let's go ahead and accept some more people. Um, More harpies, because we do have a lot of buildings that benefit from the harpy stuff. And right now, the harpy mood is the one that we keep sort of getting quite high up here. Yeah, so let's do this while they're not, not complaining about any shortages. Uh, bakery would just be for pottery right now because we don't have that. So we don't need to worry about it. We're not running you. I don't need a second person the geyser pump currently. Oh, crowded houses is always really nice. Ah, or frequent caravans. Global resolve whenever we finish trade routes. And we can overlap them. Okay, I think we'll go frequent caravans. Because the hope is that we are going to be routinely firing off these trade routes. Um, presumably this is the second one for LM, yeah. So I kind of want to wait until that finishes before I accept something here for more value. I'm going to do that. Food's not so dire, we're okay. Yeah, carve through that. You can, with this tool, you can hold shift to make a smaller selection circle, which is actually maybe better to make sure you carve through quite quickly, but it's gonna be okay there. Okay. <sighs> Open vault. Minus 18 resolve while being worked on is really rough. 
We let this fire kills every living being within 20 fields, which is a little awkward here. Man, that does give us our ancient goods. Although we could also just send to the Citadel and get reputation there, but I'm thinking what we do is keep the goods in this case. How do we deal with the absolute hammering of resolve that's going to happen? Well, I think we're just going to have to shorten the Glade timer. I think we're going to have to tank it. Oh, okay. yeah. Get you in there. We're going to keep goods. Start working on it. It's beef. It should be four minutes, but I'm going to go and do three ticks of uh, sea marrow over here. So now a minute 50. Really? Shouldn't we be dropping it by 75%? Oh, no, it's work speed increases. So we're working at 175% speed. Yeah, OK. Still, it is going to cut it down pretty dramatically. It's only beavers. Oh, it's just woodcutters and gatherers that get it. Oh, OK. So, yeah, if I have fewer woodcutters, there you go. The average resolve of the beavers get a lot better. Um, in which case, do I still want to burn off the marrow? I'm going to say no. I, mean, I don't feel the need to rush through this as much because it's actually nowhere near as bad. I think we might keep this ranch. Our food situation has been a little tough the whole time. Yeah, we're going to keep the ranch. Oh, it would be better. Hold on. It would be a lot nicer if we had lizards to work it. Maybe I should just salvage it for the one time. Because I'm thinking, I don't really want to keep increasing my population too much, and that would require more permanent workers to work the ranch. I'll just salvage. And yeah, we can get more food from the roots, and even more of the slick shell broodmothers over here. Can this be moved? No. I might just build another warehouse over here, actually. Just for the gathering spots. There we go. So we're level one over here. Um, so I think we are still going to want to do because uh, one of our, our goal is to get to how does the standing level described exactly? Level two with three settlements. So I think I'm going to keep pumping out many cheap routes just to make sure we don't overspend on any resource. And yeah, we're just going to try it. We got to get three of them to these level twos and we don't know which ones they are. Um. When's the next trader? Yeah, I'm going to wait to spend my amber because I may want to buy from this trader. Is this the loot pack, dude? He's so much fun. I don't know if it's smart, but man, do I enjoy it. Uh, That does bring the beavers down to a zero, but if I just get rid of another one in the woodcutters camp, yeah, we're going to be fine there. And that gets us a builder again uh, for the road. But yeah, we'll get this for the resolve boost. I guess, oh, it's time for me to put another cut in here. So this is definitely going to be longer. I mean, because so far, all my a lot of my games when I tried to make a video has been just like four episodes, 30 minutes each, about two hours for a run. But these are already longer and we're not even halfway yet. But it's a higher difficulty and things have been a little bit awkward. But overall, I think we're doing OK. Impatience getting a little higher. And we're still kind of desperate over here. I'm going to have to start making these props. I don't know. I don't know what that's going to look like. Folks, thanks a lot for watching. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.